Welcome to the XES EI Console Schema Management Demonstration. The use of XML standards in custom XML canonical formats has moved from the cutting edge to the mainstream. As the use of these XML schemas or XSDs in business critical XML interfaces grow, the challenges of maintaining them become more apparent. XML standards are often anything but standard and one size rarely fits all. There's a requirement to manage multiple versions of an XML standard as well as differing interpretations of the same standard. We also need to deal with custom extensions to different XML schemas. The XES EI Console's XES Data Mapper provides not only a graphical user interface for XSLT data mapping, but also a solution to these problems. It provides a robust facility for creating, editing, and maintaining XML schemas. Let's take a look. Schema management begins with the import of an existing XSD or sample XML file. This is done from the Select Format dialog. We select the XSD or XML format builder, configure it appropriately, pointing it at the XSD or XML schema, and in seconds, the schema is loaded into the source or target tree of the XES data mapper. Schemas can also be created from non-XML source formats, such as flat file descriptions, EDI, web forms, etc. Once read into the tool, we're presented with two views of the XML schema. The first view provides hierarchical navigation of the XSD. This allows us to expand any element to view the allowable children and corresponding types. The type view provides a flattened alphabetical listing of types in the underlying XSD or XML schema. Right-clicking on a given type node provides the ability to add XML elements or XML attributes to the model. The attribute, element, or field that we select will become a child of the currently created or selected type. First, let's create a simple field to capture a person's favorite color. The Add Target Field dialog appears, we enter the field name of favorite color, select or create a namespace, and then choose a simple data type. In this case, we'll just use a string. When we click Add, you'll see that our new node has been added to the tree. To demonstrate something slightly more complex, let's add a new complex type to capture the person's measurements. This time, we'll choose Add Target Element and give the element the name Pant Measurements. Again, we'll select the namespace, but this time, we'll create a new complex type. We'll call it Pant Measurement Type. And we'll click OK. Our new node appears this time with our underlying type information that we can then expand further. Let's add two attributes to this to capture the length and waist. The schema management facility can also be used to document or annotate the schema. 
we can create various note sets corresponding with different types of documentation. Once we've created a note set, we can add a note of that type to any node within our schema. An icon indicates that we've added a note or documentation to a particular field. This XML schema documentation can be searched, browsed, or exported into any number of formats. This facility can also be customized to integrate with a metadata repository for your XML schema. Sometimes, large XML schemas can be unwieldy. Not only are such schemas hard to navigate, but they can cause automated processes such as WSDL code generators or XML binding utilities to fail. In other scenarios, large XML schemas can lead to overly permissive XML schema validation processes and therefore dirty data. A common solution to this problem is to create subschemas or XML schema slices from the larger base definition. The schema management facility of the XES data mapper allows the user to create a subschema from a sample XML document, XSLT mapping, or customized view. To accomplish this, we choose the Man Manage Filters for Format Tree dialog, and then choose to either filter by the content of our mapping or by a sample that we've loaded. Alternatively, we can select the elements or nodes that we do wish to include in our final schema. After we've filtered our view or selected the nodes appropriately, we simply select the Slice Source or Target Format Tree by Current View button. Or we can right click and choose Slice Format by Current View. If we click this, the unneeded nodes of the XML schema will be removed, and the newly customized schema can be exported. Finally, the XES EI Console's XML schema maintenance capabilities take the pain out of migration between versions of an XML schema. When a schema extension is saved, a record of the changes to the XSD is maintained. This allows the changes to be replayed and reapplied to the upgraded schema version. As such, new extensions can be automatically added to the latest version of a standard, so long as the version maintains the basic XML structure of the previous version. This concludes our demonstration of schema management in the XCS EI console and the XCS data mapper. You have seen how the XCS data mapper can be used to load virtually any existing schema or to create a schema from another non-XML data format. You have also seen how XML elements and XML attributes can be added to a schema using existing or custom XSD simple type or complex types. We've demonstrated how documentation can be attached to a schema and how the final product can be sliced and exported. Finally, we've discussed how the schema maintenance facility can help migration between schema versions. Thanks for viewing.